We use models to make predictions every day. Think about it. How do meteorologists predict the chance of rain? And how does your phone use traffic data to figure out the fastest route to your destination? These models help us predict the probability of future outcomes occurring by using prior knowledge or data and updating the parameters of the equations they rely on. One tool of parameter estimation is the Markov chain Monte Carlo, and scientists have used it to make predictions about everything, from when the pandemic might end to the probability of them being asleep at a given time. Let's break it down. Monte Carlo refers to estimating the value of a quantity by taking random samples. Rolling a die to see the probability of getting a 6 is an example of this. The Markov property means that the outcome of the next event depends only on the event beforehand, kind of like moving spaces on a board game. Sampling multiple times makes this a chain. So how is this useful for parameter estimation? First, we need to plot our data. After plotting our data, we can look at the shape of the curve to see what equation might best model our scenario. Finding the right general equation is super important for making accurate predictions. The main problem is that we don't know what numbers go into the curve's equation. It's like trying to write the equation of a line without knowing the slope or y-intercept. Here, the slope and the y-intercept are the parameters of interest. To fit these curves, we can use a sampling algorithm, like the Metropolis-Hastings algorithm. Sampling algorithms use Bayes' theorem, which allows them to update the probability of an outcome by using new evidence. First, the computer analyzes our data. Then, it randomly generates a proposal distribution made up of a mean and standard deviation for our parameter of interest. The computer will choose whether to reject or accept the proposal distribution. Accepted distributions will count towards the estimated value of our parameter, but rejected distributions will not. So how do we sort these out? Proposal distributions that are likely based on our current distribution are always accepted, but if they're unlikely, they'll be randomly accepted or rejected. If rejected, a new distribution will be proposed. If accepted, the computer uses this proposed distribution and draws a new sample based only on this current information. This randomized process helps us see how susceptible this parameter is to chance in the real world. Once the computer is done taking all the samples we asked for, we can see what specific values were sampled. Over time, the proposals should begin to converge around the presumably true value. We can plot the frequency of each number being sampled as the mean on a probability distribution graph. Right in the middle should be the most likely value for our parameter of interest. This is what we can plug into our equation. Now that we have our model, I think it's safe to say I'm your new friendly neighborhood meteorologist. Thanks for watching!